Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one of these LEGO foil pack reviews. And I believe, I think this is the last one I've got currently. So, this will be the last one you're seeing for a little while. But, this is Jay in his Spinjitzu training outfit. And this is again from one of the overseas LEGO magazines. Uh, well, LEGO Ninjago magazine specifically. And I uh, don't know how much the magazines retail for, but I bought this on eBay for I think six dollars, and it was a buy one or buy three get one free, so eighteen dollars for four, I think, or maybe maybe it was a little over six dollars. I don't know, approximately six. And inside, there are some pieces that don't want to move. Ooh, one of those pieces just went flying off of my desk entirely. I don't know why it's stuck to itself on the inside. Oh, there's that. And oh, one more piece. And even more pieces. Alright, that was definitely the hardest open of all of these that I've done so far. But there we go. We have done it. And there's one piece that has rolled away, but there we go. We've got it. And now we should be able to assemble this minifigure, hopefully. And all the, all the accessories. But this is Spinjitzu Training J. Uh, the torso and legs are, you know, relatively common across the line, but this is one of only two places where you can get it on J. Obviously, you know, you could disassemble figures and do it that way. But the only other place that J appears in his Spinjitzu training outfit here is in a Movie Maker poly bag. So, you know, I think that this is a slightly easier way to get it because that poly bag was not released very widely. So, you know, there's that. And I like these accessories, the little uh, lightning bolts. So that's what I'm going to put in his hands. I think that these are awesome pieces. And I like them a lot. Uh, it is kind of nice that they give you the studs as well. That just allows for a sturdier connection. Because you could put them directly into the hollow stud on this bar handheld piece. But that's just a little bit uh, of a looser connection. So, you know, nice to make it sturdier. And his other accessory is like nunchucks, but one end is a sigh. So, you know, that is pretty much all there is to this little poly bag. The additional accessory is nice. Uh, in most of the other ones, they've only given you one accessory. Uh, but uh, I really like, I guess maybe because this is a slightly more common set of prints. Maybe that's why. But I, I really like the uh, lightning bolt pieces. And it's nice to finally get a Spinjitzu Training J. So, overall, I'm happy with this little foil pack. I know it's not the most exciting one of them, but I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, but then again, I can't really factor in price there because I don't live in Europe. So I don't know what the prices of these things are and if that's, you know, a decent price in those regions. But, you know, importing it from the United States, $6 is a little bit. Well, I, I'm, I'll round it up to 7 I'd say 7 is what I paid for it. And that is a little bit steep for just one of these minifigures, where you can get pretty much spent it through training Nia for 4 in the collectible minifigure series. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little minifigure showcase. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.